Okay, it is recording. Hi, I'm Mike Prosper with Laptop Magazine, and today we're taking a look at the CR48, uh, the first notebook with the Chrome, Google's Chrome browser and operating system. So here's the system itself. Um, it's a 12.1 inch notebook. It's got a rubberized surface, which is uh, nice to hold on to, and uh, you know, it feels good in the hand. Looking around the sides, there's only one USB port, an SD card slot, headphone jack, and on the other side is a VGA port. Uh, there's two little speakers right here and right here, and they pump out fairly good sound for a system this size. Overall, it weighs 3.8 pounds, which isn't overly light, but it isn't overly heavy either. Um, so it should disappear nicely in the backpack. When you open up the system, you see it it comes back from hibernation in a, about a second, which is very fast. Uh, that's about as quick as a uh, MacBook, actually, the new MacBook Air. Uh, when we boot up the system, it took only 14 seconds, which also is just like the Mac. So looking at the, at the Chrome OS, this is pretty much what it is. Um, it's, a brow it's all browser-based interface. Uh, when you open up a new tab, you see the current apps that you have, as well as recently closed uh, websites. Uh, for example, here's one called Aviary, which is an image editor. And it takes, and obviously, because this is a cloud based operating system, all the apps are in the cloud, so how fast things load is also going to be dependent on what your connection is. Uh, as you can see, here's the thing. Um, this is one way we found to take a look at the file system is by going sort of through a back door with an app like that. Um, you can see the different things here uh, to get in. And we'll explore more of that later. Uh, right now, we've also tried, uh, you know, obviously browsing the web and playing videos from YouTube. Uh, since this processor, though, doesn't seem, to be ha doesn't seem to handle YouTube videos or Flash very well. Um, both videos from YouTube, Vivo, and Hulu, they were fairly choppy. And we also found that uh, we couldn't select 1080p or 720p videos to play either. Uh, just looking at the hardware again, it's very MacBook-like. Um, the keyboard is, is nice to the touch. Uh, it's island style. It's easy to press things. Uh, there's a click pad here with integrated buttons. And you can perform gestures such as two-fingered scrolling and pinch to zoom. Uh, there's also a number of keyboard shortcuts. This is slightly different. Instead of a caps lock key, there's a search key that will open up a new tab or close it, and so you can so you can start a new search. Other buttons at the top here. This one also shifts from single tab to multiple tab views. Um, this one goes from full screen, expands the browser to full screen, or not. Uh, these are forward, back, and reload buttons for web pages. There's brightness controls as well as volume controls. Google also, uh, for this operating system, has a number of keyboard shortcuts. So if you press Control Alt and the question mark, it'll show you here on the screen a virtual keyboard. So, for example, if I hold down the Control key, it'll show me that if, for example, I press uh, the F key, I can find something or the G key for find again as you can see up here. If I hold down the alt key it shows those uh, it shows those shortcuts as well. It's nice uh, that, to have this quick reference guide although we wonder if there might be a more intuitive way to figure out how to use these shortcuts. So going back obviously we're in the Chrome browser so if you select web store you can select from the number of apps. This is the recently opened uh, app store that Google announced the other day. So there's all these different apps you can choose from. So say you want to download Google Books, you can just go like that and install it. And obviously, depending on your web connection, it'll install quickly. And there it appears, right there. And then you can just open it up. So this is a quick. This has been a quick run through of the CR48, the new notebook with the Chrome operating system. Uh, we'll have more. Look forward. 
look for our full review to come shortly. And this is Mike Prospero with Laptop Magazine.